So for most of my life, I have never been a paper planner. I have bought planners and have never been able to use them. First off, I hate my handwriting. Second off, I just, I just can't. I love my computer. I love my iPad. I love everything that allows me to be able to plan my life virtually. I can use things like notifications on my Amazon Alexa. I can use things like Google Calendar to see what I'm doing. And today I'm going to be walking you through an update to my control center in my Notion setup. I've seen a lot of videos on Notion at this point. I have really figured out and mastered Notion for the most part. And I never found a template that really fit how I work, which is I go through my day every day in chunks, right? We start off with our morning routine. We have breakfast. We have... Uh, all the things that we check off in the morning, then we move into the afternoon, we've got lunch, we've got the work that we're doing, evening, night. I have never seen a template that follows that route so that you are at different points of the day trying to figure out, okay, well, where am I? What do I need to look at? And how do I use Notion throughout the day? So that's what this video is gonna be walking you through is my new updated command center, which is literally positioned in that way. I think a lot of people think this way, uh, especially some neurodivergent people, where it's like we literally have to have a step-by-step -step checklist for a lot of the things that we do. And if it's all over the place and hard to find, we will not remember to check things off, go through those lists, and then we will forget a bunch of stuff. So today I'm going to be walking you through not just my Notion, but also kind of how my day looks like. I'm going to try to insert some footage of things that I'm doing, whether that's cooking or working out, just showing you a little bit of my daily routine. I don't really have, honestly, a daily routine. Every day is a little different, but if it's making content like my podcast or making a YouTube video or making some TikToks, I mean, I can show you guys a little bit about what that looks like in that process. So this video, I'm not sure how long it's gonna be from this intro, but I'm hoping to walk you through all these things. So let's just get started. Okay, so this is an updated look at my Notion command center and now I've called this my daily command center and the reason why is that this is something that I can look at every single day and this is how I start my day so it's a good morning the priority decision hierarchy is just kind of a checklist will this help me achieve my mission is linked to a goal is it essential good questions to ask yourself in the morning over on the left I also have my 2021 Spotify playlist which is basically every song that I listen to on repeat I have literally annual playlists so if you want to follow me, John Redfield, on Spotify, you can see what I'm listening to. And then over on the right here, I have an embedded clock from Indify, as well as the weather. So it just shows kind of what the week looks like. It's very cold where I live. <laughs> and then moving down, so this is kind of how I've organized it. Over on the left, so if you haven't read the book, Miracle Morning, in it, he talks about the idea of SAVERS, which is an acronym for Silence, Affirmations, Visualization, Exercise, Reading, and Scribing. So this is a good way to start your morning. So silence, which is basically just getting up, not saying anything, being silent, doing some meditation, then affirmation. So if I click on affirmations, it pops down not only a playlist of meditations and affirmations from Spotify that I can choose from, but also just some great affirmations I can just read out loud. I actually got these from somewhere and then turned it into a database, which I thought was kind of cool. So I just have a ton of them to read out loud. I also have some good quotes. That kind of stuff is really helpful. So if I wanna start my morning with affirmations, you can also visualize things. Another, I have another playlist for that on Spotify. Moving into exercise and my workout. So one of the things that I do is, actually if you scoot a little bit down here, I'm actually doing um, a workout by Caroline Gervin, I believe is her name, on YouTube. So I literally have the schedule for that, as well as the playlist. So I actually do this on my TV, so I don't really use this, but it has the playlist right here of all of the each day. So I'm on day, I think, eight now. So I can go through, and then in here, if I go over to my uh, workout, database I can actually say I'm doing day nine of the workout and that's my workout I haven't set that up for today for reading in the morning I have the books I'm currently reading so I can just pick from one of those maybe I can go on my Kindle app or some of them I have actual physical book and then scribing is more of a journaling I'm still working on this uh, the best way to journal on notion I know a lot of people do it as like a bullet journal or just I, I'm just not good at journaling so that's something that I am working on 
But one of the other things I do after I start the morning off with my savers is I move over to the morning checklist. So again, this is part of that same database that the everything is on and it is basically where every single day I'll click into it, I actually track all of my things. So I track literally everything. But I've filtered it to just the things I do in the morning. So in the morning, uh, do, have I done my stretches? Have I done my meditation visualization? Do I go on my outdoor walk? Have I put on clothes? As someone who's neurodivergent, I struggle with sometimes like doing things in order. So I just like to have it all there. You know, take a shower, make your bed, take your morning vitamins, have breakfast. Uh, those are like the things I do in the morning. So having this check off list is really helpful for me to just have. Now, not everyone needs that. I just like to have it making sure that I have all the things. Hey guys, it's editing Jenna. I totally forgot to mention that I also plan my outfits and I wanted to show you that really quick. I'm just gonna cut to Notion um, and just show you exactly what I do. So what I have is I have all of my outfits documented in my products and asset thing, which I kind of showed you guys already in a past video. But what I can do is I can actually select the outfit and track what I wear. So if I wanted to plan my outfits ahead of time, I can also do that. So I just wanted to mention that. I totally forgot to mention that while I was filming. So part of my morning routine is picking out my outfit and tracking that. Then I have a breakfast area, which actually over here is part of a meal planning template. You can see I've tagged my breakfast as oatmeal, which is something I have every day. I'm gonna cut to how I make my oatmeal because I think it's really good. Uh, this is something that I have every day. And so I just know it's already set to be every morning that I have it. So now that the morning routine is over, I have a little line that separates it. I move down into my work day. Over here on the left, I have a calendar in weekly view. You can also do daily view. I could probably do that. Um, I don't have everything set for today's Sunday, so I don't actually have like a huge calendar today. It's mostly just filming this YouTube video and a couple other things. You can actually do this within Google calendar and you can actually get this widget on Indify and it actually turns it into uh, which I just found this out today and I was so excited. So I'm going to start utilizing that as almost like a time block uh, within Notion. I've been trying to find a way to do time blocking within Notion and this to me is probably the best is just to use Google Calendar. Over on the right hand side, I have my daily tasks. So I'm probably going to do another video specifically on my action items, but Basically, it's filtered to things that haven't been checked off. I have it organized by status, priority, the project, also the due date. I can tag different apps I use. Um, basically, whatever I want, um, there's just a lot of things you can add. So I really like to do it this way where if I check it off, it's done. It's filtered so that it's the done is not checked and it's active. So that's kind of how I get my work done and I can just add quickly add items to there uh, of things I need to do. Moving down, other things I usually work on are around content creation. So I have my upcoming YouTube videos. So if there's a like a little video icon, that means it's a YouTube video. If there is a little recording microphone, that's for a podcast. And then I've also filtered with the new uh, group option using a subgroup, I've sorted it by status. So if it's in post-production, next step working on, reached out, scheduled, I have it sorted also by type. So email newsletter, YouTube, and podcast are the things I'm currently working on. So I could go into the content production pipeline. If I click here, you can see I have everything set up uh, this way as well, so I have all of my idea backlogs. I did a whole video on this recently, so you can definitely go see that. Um, but it's filtered into a database within Notion so that you can actually just see all of the stuff coming up. And then over on the right, I have a Pomodoro timer, so if I wanna do some deep work for 25 minutes, I can use that as well. So that's really my like work area. Um, some other things I could put also is like client stuff, but I actually have that on a separate Notion uh, base. Uh, like a separate account because I don't put that on my uh, this one I have a different one 
moving over to afternoon, another thing I can also do is plan my lunch and then also down here plan my dinner. So I haven't yet, but what I can do is I can literally go through, uh, click on lunch, and if I wanted to type something in chicken, quesadilla that I like to make, so I can add that as the lunch and then you'll see that that pops up. And if I click into that, you can see I have it as an actual meal and it has all the recipe, everything I need for that. So that's really helpful to know if you're meal planning, um, you can have it set up, same with dinner. I just haven't set that up. You can also add the image, which is kind of cool. So I did that with, with the uh, oatmeal up here. And then down here I have the, so if, after work is over, if I want to watch a YouTube video or I have a podcast, these are kind of what I'm currently watching, TV shows, YouTube channels, books I'm reading, kind of basically my current consumption. And all of these are filtered from my brain database into the status being current. So it's all the different things I'm watching um, or maybe I have to catch up on. And those change obviously like almost daily. And then finally at night, I have things like charge my appliances, schedule for tomorrow, take night vitamins and do mouth tape, which I've been doing to try to sleep better. So that's really like this whole page is my whole database. And then down here, I literally have all of my other databases. Like they're just kind of archived so I can quickly find them. They're organized. I have this scratch space as well, which I got from another template. I haven't really used it much, but if I wanted to write something quick, that's another thing I can do. I also have this sorted by weekly. So if I click over here, I actually have the things sorted by weekly. So if I wanted to do something like, for example, I don't grocery shop every day, but I do have my recurring grocery list. So these are the things that I need um, that it's, it's filtered within my groceries to the status being grocery list. Um, if I wanted to meal plan ahead of time, I could literally have this sorted um, in my meal planning. I've got my content pipeline. So again, this is all the stuff happening this week. My weekly habit tracker, I've literally got every day this week so I can see upcoming stuff that's going on. And then my chore list. So this is kind of stuff, just things to do. And then finally my weekly review, which I can just open this up. I can check some things off. And really that's kind of my current database setup. I like this because I can do it every day and it's again filtered so that it's only being the date is today. So every day it, so it automatically updates for me. So I'm deciding if I want to sort of set this up as some sort of template, I think it would be really cool. Um, I'm putting together some stuff right now. I do have two templates available in the link in bio and hoping to add more soon. So you might be watching this and it's available. You might not. Um, but there's so much to notion that I'm really excited about. I'm definitely gonna be working on a lot more content, especially with templates. So make sure to look out for that. Follow me on Gumroad. Um, definitely check out some of my uh, templates. I have a free one and a paid one. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of different kind of video where I walk you through my day a little bit. And yeah, I'll talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.